Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. I know all of you are able to enjoy the process, be it something good or something bad, that probably you already understand the idea that the, that the destination and the journey are one and the same, that appreciate where you are or you're not going to appreciate where you end up. But let's talk about that a little bit more. Before we do that, if you could hit that like button for me, I can't quite reach it from here. Thank you very much. So when we hold on to good things that are happening too tightly out of fear that something bad may come or that we may never see another good thing again, it's much like walking up a set of stairs and stopping at some point because you're afraid the next st step is going to be a squeaky one. So instead of taking that next step, you stop and you hold on to this, this one that doesn't squeak. You stay there. You say, this is perfect. It's not squeaking. But you're also not going anywhere. And we have the other problem too. We're walking up the set of stairs and we run into one, we step on it and it goes, eh, and we don't like that noise. So what do we do? We stop and we step on it again. Does it still make that noise? And we step on it again. Hey, look, it's still doing it. And so we get stuck. We get stuck in these bad events, in these bad emotions, things from the past. We get stuck. We keep trying them again. Is this going to happen again? Is this going to happen again? And we don't take that next step to see what's there. Maybe we're afraid that the next step is going to be even worse. Maybe we're afraid that the next step is going to be one that breaks but we're not making any progress. We're holding on to the step that doesn't squeak because we're afraid the next one might. And we're holding on to the step that does squeak because we're afraid the next one might be worse. Or we're trying to, we're stuck in that problem, in that emotion, and we're not letting ourselves just move past it and see what lies ahead that is quite probably something better. So be willing to let either of those go. Be willing to let the good things go and be willing to let the bad things go. There's a common phrase, this too shall pass. Well, this too shall pass doesn't just mean bad things. It means good things as well. So you don't want to be stuck holding on to those good things because it's going to be even worse when and if they get torn from you. And we have a little adventurer on safari here today. <laughs> so it's going to be even worse when those good things are ripped from you. But if you just let them go, you allow that energy to move. You allow yourself to continue moving up the stairs. You allow yourself to continue moving, to continue going, to continue advancing. And that's where this phrase, this too shall pass, really comes in handy is remembering that even the most wonderful things in your life, they too will end. But you'll get more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to hit like and share the video. Have a great day.